Hadoes Totis. Hello and welcome to my guitar progress vlog. Um, it's not really a vlog, it's just keeping me accountable to what I'm doing to improve my guitar playing. I'm gonna base this whole video around the learning a song and that song is going to be Offer Your Light by Devin Townsend. The song itself is in some kind of wacky tuning. So the song itself is in um, is essentially drop C tuning, um, but the third string is a G string, is tuned to G like standard. Um, the second string is tuned to C and then the um, first string is tuned to E so C, G, C, G, C, E sounds gorgeous, sounds beautiful apparently Devon um, usually uses that tuning as well as um, essentially what I think is a similar tuning but instead of it being in C it would be B I don't understand music theory that's why I'm kind of doing these vlogs so it, it proves that I'm putting in the effort there you know um, anyway should we try to learn the first rift of the song got my guitar uh, this is my Charvel <laughs> That's a pretty simple rift. Um, yeah. Okay, something that I wanted to do in this, uh, I, I keep on calling them vlogs, but they're not really vlogs. But I guess uh, the whole premise of this is like a progress over time of getting better at playing guitar. But I'm gonna put it out there. I'm kind of trying to get my theory techers up a little bit as well. Um, like a, on the piano key, you have uh, the notes themselves, alphabetical order from A to G, obviously starting from C first, obviously you have the sharps and the flats in between, that's essentially the same thing for guitar, mind blown. Um, that, those little things, they're actually, um, it's, it's beneficial for you to know that. Especially if you say, for example, are trying to you, you try and learn a tab and there's a guitar part that sometimes would have problems with my pinky stretching um, to go to like a, a strict a six string further. Um, if you have like on the other string, obviously it will be a different sound. It won't sound um, completely the same as um, picking that note on the other string. But it's good to know those sort of things because then you know if you're picking a um, G note, for example, on one string and you can't get to it for whatever reason, um, if you have a G note that's quite close on the string below, then maybe use that, you know? So that's the little, a little tip there from some of the theory knowledge that I'm learning. Obviously it's basic, but I'm a pretty basic guy. Uh, I just insult myself. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's uh, the theory tip. Yeah, theory tips. Should we try to do another rift? I think maybe I might do another rift. <laughs> second that doesn't sound right and I might actually use this time as well to um, not plug but this little device is very very useful um, I got it for Amazon I don't think it was even 10 pounds and it's basically a tuner 
that you stick on the headstock. It's got like this little uh, clip that you stick on the headstock and it's a tune-on. It's pretty handy. It's not even 10 pounds. Obviously you could try and do it by ear, um, but that takes me ages to do and this is a lot quicker. Obviously if I had the opportunity and the time to do it by ear, then I would just do it that way. But this is a lot more quicker and that literally took, what, a minute? And now we're back. Um, yeah. So, uh, try that again. That's one, that's one to keep on practicing. Anyway, um, I know I mentioned the tuner, but something else that I was gonna mention in this video, and it's actually pretty useful to know if you are trying to learn this song, because um, what, I've, what I typically do now is if um, I'm gonna go like drop C, I have basically, um, I have a few guitars, but the way that I keep them now is that I will do, uh, I, I pretty much battle between four, um, and there I basically keep different gauge strings on them so that I can do different tunings and then use them for the different tunings. So, um, for example, I have a seven string that's uh, obviously that will be in B standard um, and then I can put that to drop A or anything like that and then I have um, PRS that I keep actually at the minute it doesn't have any strings on it because I had um, higher gauge um, fixed strings on, on that but now I've taken them off and I'm going to put um, just standard um, ten, not tens um, I think the the finished string is nine, nine gauge um, strings on that, and then um, this Charvel, I put recently put thicker strings on this, so I think the thicker string is fifty two, I think I can't remember off the top of my head. It's basically the same gauge that um, Mastodon use, Bajira use. Um, I did try the brand that they use. Um, strings is it Dolario or something something like that I'm butchering everything right now but um, okay the right strings but I do prefer Annie Ball's strings um, and they have a similar I think for standard I use super slinky um, and for the 52s to 10s I think, don't quote me on that but I think that's what the gauges are um, I will use the red packet. I can't remember what it is. Um, I just think that only ball strings are, they feel the best. Um, and it might sound a bit weird because it's a real small thing, but anyway. Shall we get on to the last rift? Let's do that, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. Where is it? Oh, oh. I like this one. I like this one. It's a little more. It's. A, I. I can get it in about a couple of seconds. Whereas the other one, the other one, I know I'm gonna be learning for a while to get speed up on it. Uh, this one. Sounds like really dark. I like that.
Uh, yeah. So I'm going to try and do a lot more of these. Um, I say um a lot. And by the time I've edited everything, it'll probably seem like I don't say um a lot. But pre-editing, I say um a lot. Anyway, I'm going to try and do a lot of these so that I can log in my progress of getting better at guitar, learning a lot more theory. So I'll have a few more tips of the things that I've learned, which are basically at key stage one level. Um, but anything that is, is, is better, obviously. Uh, um, it's just to keep me accountable and I'm doing something for a graphic novel, so I should do something for the guitar as well. But yes, that is it.